Namaste, Shalom, Salam. This is Gaia Mother Sophia. Now, I want to talk to you about what's happening right now with the planets and what the energies are asking you to do right now, which is presenting you with a, a huge opportunity. A lot of the light workers are compassionate people, some are empaths. You're now being asked to reclaim any energy that you gave out that was not in some way returned. Now, I want to speak to you about the universal law of energy. You can't destroy energy. Uh, if you studied physics, you know this more than I do. You cannot destroy energy, but energy can change form or it can be transferred. So I want to put that in this perspective of all of you healers, light workers, um, empaths, compassionate people out there. Generally, what will happen is that in your life and on your journey on planet Earth so far, you have given up much of your energy to many people. Now, some of those people have grown. And with their growth, they have somehow given you some energy back. Now, that can be in many forms. The obvious one is money. Money is energy. Please never mistake money to be evil because it is energy. We have all got money from the energy that we have put into something. Sometimes that return of energy doesn't happen until a later life. So you might have worked for 20 years and finally that's come back and it's come back big. That energy can also be returned in real love. When somebody truly gives you love and thinks about you, you can feel it. There's also the false love that somebody says, thank you so much for doing this for me. It means so much. And yet you don't feel any gratitude or love from that person. And that's because that particular person isn't an energy grower. They take that energy, they put it inside, they grow it. And quite frankly, they really don't give a crap about you or anybody else. That's the type of place you want to reclaim your energy. I just want to quickly finish off about the return of energy. So as you know, um, I'm a Bollywood actress, I'm a writer, I'm a singer, I'm a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a healer and I'm a spiritual shaman. My incarnations have woken up. And with that came the wisdom that came with my incarnations. So if, for example, I've got some clients who have got cancer, well actually they don't have the cancer after they visit me, every cancer, uh, every person with cancer who's come to see me has not had cancer afterwards because of the healing and initially the, they find me somehow and it starts off with me giving them 50% off and then it goes to me not charging them and that's happened with all of my former clients who have had um, this horrible cancer. Um, now, I then go on to not charge them. And every time I've opened the door, I feel love and beauty and joy. So that in itself is a return of energy for me. However, do not ever forget how you feel. Because ultimately it's your heart and the feeling here and your solar plexus and coming down to your sacral down here, all of this area, you start to feel whether or not there is a return of energy. Real gratitude you can feel. False gratitude or self-indulgent gratitude, where someone goes, oh my God, thank you so much, let me have that, thank you. Um, and then they're like, fuck off. Yes, spiritual people swear. So, you know where that is. I'll give you an example. Now, in my life, as I said, I've done a lot of healings for people, I do charge for my time and I am expensive because of the 
years and years and years that have gone into many lifetimes to bring this knowledge forth and also the energy it's my energy that i use to heal and it's always a gift and a pleasure to do and i spent two years not charging people at all um and of course i have developed a second business in order to support the healing purely because I'm very blessed to have so many wonderful people that come to me for healings that I, I, I have a lot that I do for low income. I have a lot that I do for people who um, are not very well. So I don't charge them for that. So, but I also have a lot of clients who also pay me a lot of money because it's my energy and my service that I am giving. And that money that they pay me is a return in energy because the work that I do is life changing. I can change people's lives. I can get rid of cancers. I can give them their fertility and a child. And um, this has all happened. Now, there was a, a friend of mine recently who was in complete despair and who basically couldn't have children. I turned that over in a day um, and it was an incredible, incredible story. And I got, thank you very much that day and that was it. Um, and then I got a, an, an email maybe a month later to say, because of you, I am now pregnant. Um, and she was pregnant with twins. Um, I, after that, I heard nothing. Um, and then I did ask her to make a little video for me. said, do you mind just making me a small video? Because I want to be everybody to know that miracles are happening, to guide them to me, perhaps, um, and to help others. And the, the, the return email that I got was quite blunt, saying no. And at that point, I was very aware of the fact that I put so much energy into this precious healing and there was nothing that came back in any way shape or form and there was always it was an e e egoic response and i don't deal with ego so i then reclaimed back my energy um and i also then went into a personal ceremony where i reclaimed back the energy from all those who have taken it from me over the years and I literally drew back into my physical cells, physical being, which isn't really physical because it's all energy, the energy that I had given away so freely and so readily. When you come to a certain point of enlightenment, you realize that you are energy. Physics will tell you that the five trillion cells that we have in our body have no real structure. You look into the cells with a microscope, it's all space. It's energy vibrating. And your energy is your energy for you to grow and to serve humanity. Now, we all serve each other. We are here to help and to serve each other. And if that doesn't happen, there's a depletion. And all of you light workers out there who have been doing this for too long have been, you're being now asked to let go of the hand that doesn't want to be pulled up. You know who they are. You give them so much time. You give them so much energy. They keep taking, they keep taking, and it seems like they're not growing. It's, um, it's time to let go of the energy that's pulling you down because you can see the mountain that you can climb quite easily. And by dragging whatever doesn't want to make the effort or return energy, you will stay in the same space as them. And your job now is to get to that top of the mountain so everyone can see you shine. And when you shine, guess what? Your vibration on its own is going to lift everybody else. So you don't need to be there to pull somebody up. Um, but as I said, pull those up that want to be pulled up, the ones who are, and, and, and you know who they are because you feel that energy inside of you. The ones who, who don't want to grow and the ones who are parasites and suckers of energy, vampires, um, they're the ones that leave you feeling not so good about yourself, energetically down. And that's when you've got to cut that energetic cord because it is parasitic and you can now that we're going through a period right now whilst jupiter is hanging around in sagittarius you 
have the power to claim back your energy. You are sovereign. This is how you do it. So I'm going to take you through a very, very powerful process. I want you to completely think about what you're doing here as well. Because you can only claim back the energy from those who truly have taken it. And that's without a return, any energetic return, which I've explained, be that love, be that money. So we're going to go through the process now. But please, please, when you do this process, do understand that you can't take energy from those who don't have your energy. And if that energy has been returned it, and you do this practice, um, it will not be returned to you, but it will be returned as empty energy, which is going to slow you down. So you need to be completely honest about doing this. OK, I'm going to take you through the process. So I want you to be in a very quiet space. And you take three deep breaths and you connect to the higher realms, which are the realms here, because they all exist here. So I access your multidimensional being in its energetic form as a white light. Once you've connected with your energetic vibration, I want you to see the person in front of you who you would like to reclaim your energy from. And you proclaim, I am Sophia Hyatt. And I reclaim back my energy from, put the name here. I reclaim back my energy from, let's say Fred, Fred. For there was no energetic return. And I no longer want my energy to serve you in any way. I take back all the energy that I gave to you and that you took from me without a return of energy. It is my energy and my energy is to be returned so that I can use it to grow myself for the greater good. Then I want you to imagine in your mind's eye and see that person standing in front of you. Look into their eyes. And then you draw a big breath in. And as you're doing that, I want you to imagine particles of light coming into you through your breath and flooding your body with this incredible energy that is you. I am Sophia Hyatt. And I take back my energy that I gave to Fred Flintstone. Because Fred never returned or grew my energy in any way. And it is time for me to reclaim back my energy. It is mine and I take it back. I am a sovereign being. And as you breathe, you breathe in through the mouth. Breathe out through your nose and feel your whole body fill back with your energy. You will feel more energized. You will feel more like yourself. There's a lot of light workers out there right now who are not feeling so great. And that's because your energy was sucked. And even as a healer, you can take it back from those who haven't reciprocated. And healers, please, please, please. You must charge for your services in every single way, unless, as I said, there is something that is being returned. And as I said, with my terminal clients, I receive so much love, I receive so much blessings, I receive so much joy from them, and that's enough. But I've also had clients who have feigned low income uh, and have sworn at me because they can't prove their low income and I won't um, do the, the healing for free. Um, there are other people who I do do the healing for free with um, because of the soul connection. So you are allowed to make your own judgments on what that is. But if it doesn't make you feel good, you know it's a vampire, it's a parasite. So it's a very powerful exercise. 
And this can only be done in this period right now, whilst Jupiter is in Sagittarius. It doesn't matter what time you practice it. You can practice it at sunrise. You can practice it at sunset, which are two beautiful times to practice this. You can be standing on the grass with your feet on the ground or on a wooden floor like me. Because it doesn't matter what you're standing on, really, because it's all matter and matter is nothing. It's the song of the universe and it's an energetic imprint of everything. It's time for you to reclaim back your energy. It's an incredible time and I know a lot of you have been feeling tired. A lot of you have been feeling like, when is this going to end? Well, it's ended. And it's time for you, beautiful dear light workers of this beautiful planet Gaia. It is your time. Take back your energy. Shine bright. Stand on top of your mountain and let the whole world see your light. For them that can see you will feel you before they see you. And in that, their energy will change. And this is the Great Awakening. We are here now. We are higher than the fifth dimension right now. And it all exists in the same plane now. I can see it. And those of you who practice the right practices, clean up your body, clean up your mind, live in truth are living and can live in the fifth density and higher. It's an incredible place. It looks the same, only it feels very different. It all talks to you. The trees and the birds and the flowers and the walls, everything talks to you. And they sing a song just for you, especially the birds. So bring yourself into the fifth density, beautiful light workers, sending you all my blessings and love. Namaste, Shalom, Salam.